Hello everyone, Nariman here, welcome to my channel. Today we want to talk about IntelliJ shortcuts. Why I decided to make this video? Well, um, as a programmer, the more you gain experience, the more you found out that uh, if you want to write code very quickly, you need to stop using the mouse. When your hands are on the keyboard and then, for example, let's say you want to close a tab, or you want to search for some file or some keyboards in your code or other stuff sometimes you are going to use the mouse and then getting back to, over to the keyboard and start writing code again it will slow you down a little bit so the more you gain experience you are trying to learn some shortcuts in your preferred IDE and then you will see how it will speed it up. So maybe at first uh, ID shortcuts are just nice to have for you. But over time, I found out that how essential they are to keep you focused and to keep your hand on the keyboard. I guess it's almost impossible to memorize all of these shortcuts that the ID offers to you. But as time goes by, you found the most useful ones and then you stick to them. So I decided to share a few of them that I think they are very important when you are writing code in IntelliJ. Some of them I learned from my more experienced colleagues. Some of them I just looked them up and found it useful. But overall, the ones that I'm sharing with you, I'm using them on a daily basis. Why IntelliJ? Well, because I'm a Java developer, but uh, you can use most of this shortcut, I guess, in any other JetBrains IDE like PyCharm or Goland. So let's switch to coding and hopefully I will share with you like 10, 12 useful shortcuts that I know. And please share with me in the comments any other useful shortcuts that I might not be aware of. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start. So I've just... Uh, open Google's Guava project, which is a Java open source project. I just needed some code to show you all these shortcuts with. Let's open it and find some code and start. Um, let's open this util package. And let's open this one. So the first one that I want to talk to you about is code selection. And this one is a lifesaver. You won't believe how essential it is. Because let's say you are writing some code here, yeah? You are writing some code and then you want to select some code and probably maybe copy it or delete it or anything. And then you immediately need to put your hands on the mouse and select this code, yes? But actually, we have some shortcut for it in IntelliJ. So what you need to do, I'm doing this on Mac, so I will start with the shortcut on Mac, but I will also let you uh, know that what is the shortcut on Linux and Windows. So on Mac, it's like this. Um, you take the option key and then the arrows. For select, you need the up arrow. So with this, you can see that how first it's selecting the smaller block and then it expands. The more you press this arrow, it expands to the higher blocks. You can see here that is expanding and then it's going to expand to the upper block and eventually it's selecting the whole method. And when you want to shrink and reduce your selection, then you need to hold option and then again, hold the down arrow like this. You can see that now my selection is shrinking until I'm over here. So if you want to use this on uh, Windows or Linux, it's control and W for expanding and uh, control shift and w for shrinking this one is the number one shortcut that you need to learn when you are 
using IntelliJ. You won't believe how many times a day I'm using this and how much it speeds up your coding. The next useful shortcut for me is uh, the ability to search everywhere. Every day you are at work or where you are coding, uh, there is a huge project open and there are lots of files and then you are let's say working on this file and need to immediately find another file and check something in there or write some code in there and you need to switch there so again you probably know the name of this file or a part of the name of this file yeah so it doesn't make any sense for example to go over let's say open this and then search for it all and see if your file exists there and then again a scroll and go to another package and search for a file uh, let's say i am here writing code in this util package i want to find this file which called cachebuilder.java so where i'm here i will use on mac it's double shift so shift and shift and this will be immediately opened and then I can search for this cache builder. You can see that there will be some classes with this name and then I will just go through the one that I want. I believe this is the same in Windows so and Linux you can press double shift and then search everywhere and it's not only in your project uh, files it's I believe also in actions and then you can search over everything basically you can see here that it's also a tab for actions for symbols for files for classes so this search bar is basically for anything in IntelliJ the next one that I found very useful is uh, the ability to find the recent files this is uh, possible on Mac with command E and you can see like I was working in this cache builder file and collection future file and they are here when I selected this command E usually when you are working on a task you are working with a handful of files and then you are immediately switching back and forth between them so this command would probably come very handy you can for example switch between them with the arrows and then select the one that you want and press enter and move to the other one on windows and linux it should be Control e that opens this uh, find recent files for you so this one is also very handy i use it a lot and it helps me to not use the mouse and keep my hands on the keyboard and just switch between the files that I'm working on. And also sometimes you just want to switch between tabs. You have like two or three tabs open, you are coding in them and you just want to switch it. This is uh, possible on Mac with uh, control and tab together. So by pressing control and tab, you can see that I can switch between these two tabs and it might look a little bit like the find recent files but it's a little bit different let me press ctrl and e you can see that this one is called recent files and it's listing all your uh, recent files that you worked on but then when i press ctrl and tab it's just the tabs that is open so i can switch between them you see uh, this one on Linux and Windows should be also control and tab. While we are talking about the tabs, maybe it's also good to review some of these uh, tabs shortcuts. For example, you can uh, close a tab by pressing uh, command and W. So like this. This should be control and F4 on Windows and Linux. One of the other shortcuts that I use a lot is file structure navigation. It's a little bit tricky on the Mac keyboard because it's like command and F12 or command and Fn and F12. 
but uh, I use it a lot. Uh, it's very crucial for me because sometimes you have big classes with like lots of methods and lots of properties and you are looking for a specific method or a specific property. And with this uh, shortcut, you can easily find them. Okay, so let me press Command Fn and F12. And you can see that uh, all the methods are listed here and also I can see them like the constructor itself, all the other methods that are listed here. And it's not that you can just uh, scroll. When it's open, you can start type, for example, get, expire, and then you can see that these methods matches your search. This one for Windows and Linux should be Control and F12. There are also some shortcuts for moving the lines, which comes handy. Let me show you. Uh, let me find some code. Mm, yeah, that should do. So sometimes you want to reorder some lines of code. For example, put this line behind the line above. So all you need to do here, instead of like, let's say, go over the mouse, select this, and then like cut it or paste it or anything, is that um, you can use on Mac is like options, and shift and then like arrow keys to move it up and down for example this is like i'm moving it up here i'm moving it down and yeah that's it that's also comes handy sometimes reformatting code is also something that can help you a lot um, the shortcut should be Mm, command option and L let me mess up this code a little bit maybe change this like this and like this and let's press command option and L and you can see that the file is reformatted actually it's reformatted the whole file because uh, probably Guava team is using their own uh, formatting and I'm here using the default IntelliJ IDEA format so it's a little bit different uh, you can also put your own style and define it in IntelliJ I guess there is a file called editor config and then have your own formatting define your format in the team that you are working in or your personal preferences and then whenever you want to format the file just press these keys and it will be automatically reformatted there are also some very simple shortcuts that maybe all of you are aware of like um, command and slash will comment out the code and then also if you use it on a comment comment and slash would uncomment the code or if you like you can also use it on a block of code doesn't matter it will comment out all of these codes that are selected uh, you can search in a file by pressing command and F and if you want to search for a specific thing in the whole project you can use command shift and F and then this would be open for you here that you can search for example let's say I'm searching for cash you can see that like anywhere in the code when it appears it will show it to you for find and replace in a file you can press co command and R and you can see like I want to let's say find all the checks with like whatever like checking yeah and then you can replace it all if you want to do the same like finding and replacing in the whole project you can press command shift and R 
and it will be done in the project for you for windows i guess it should be control and f control and r and control shift and f and control shift and r there should be also some uh, shortcuts that i'm not able to show you exactly in this project how it's working because i didn't build this project and it's a, somehow a big project i didn't want to waste time on that but i will let you know anyways uh, so you can try it out on your own for example optimizing imports if we go like top of this file well there are some imports and let's say if i have some unused imports here for example it's using map i use some set here um, when i press like um, control option and o together it will remove those unused imports and uh, it will also like reorder them for you in some way and group uh, like static imports together group the other imports together that is also pretty handy and um, yeah try this out unfortunately i cannot show it to you here also the other one that i cannot show you exactly how it works here is the go to declaration command which should be command and b as you can see it said that right now it cannot find the declaration to go to but it basically you are reading some code and then it's calling other methods other classes other libraries and you are wondering what is the declaration of that method and then you can easily just press command b and in terms of windows and linux uh, control b you will easily be forwarded to the declaration a few moments later okay guys that was the whole video about the shortcuts that i'm using on a daily basis on intellij and i found them useful and i thought to sh share it also with you i hope you found it useful and hopefully you will use a few of them when you are writing code and it will help you to speed up have a better performance and be more focused with your hands on the keyboard i'm also curious to know what are the intellij shortcuts or any other JetBrain products shortcuts that you are using that i might not be aware of please share it with me in the comments and as always please like and subscribe for more contents like this see you around